Hey, hey guys, what is up? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be going over something a little different. It's a start of a three or four part series, depending on how this first one goes. I'm going to be going over every mod inside the current 2.6 version of Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Involved, which is on Minecraft 1.7.10 and today we're going over the pipes any pipe fluid you name it flux ducts fluid ducts and item ducts but to start this video off I just wanted to say that this right here is probably one of the coolest things I've seen these are the lovely things known as viaducts and the only way I got this one to work is with a three-part runtime but I think it looks pretty cool so while that's that uh, first Let's start with our fluid ducts. So your very, very basic fluid duct is going to be our temperate fluid ducts. And you have the opaque version as well. Notice these are the same pipes, the temperate and the tempered opaque fluid ducts. Both vary based on the liquid inside the tempered fluid duct. It breaks if it's extremely hot or cold, so you can't put like lava or water in there. And these are added by thermal dynamics. So the way you craft this temperate fluid duct is with copper on both sides, glass, and you get a temperate fluid duct just like this. Now you can use the Minecraft glass or you can use the thermal expansion hardened glass, but the Minecraft glass is obviously going to be easier to use. And with this pipe, you make it with lead ingots in the middle instead of glass. Our next pipe is the hardened fluid ducts. So the hardened fluid ducts also vary by what fluid they're in, except instead of it being breaking, from extreme heat or cold. They may be at any temperature. They have two versions as well. So this version is with Envar and hardened glass. And you can craft it with hardened glass or the Minecraft glass. So if I were to take this out and we were to go back to the Minecraft glass, which is right here. I click on that, I click on you. Actually, no. So that can only be made with the hardened glass. And the way you craft the opaque version of this pipe is with lead in the middle instead of glass. If you're on a if you're on a rather laggy computer that almost can't run this mod, my recommendation would be going for the opaque because these show the fluid inside them and while you'd like to see if it's running or not, it's best to run with those. So our next pipe is going to be the flux plated fluid duct. This is a, another liquid transfer pipe. The rate varies by the fluid, also may be at any temperature, but the difference on this one if it is it transfers 2000 RF per tick. So while that's transferring your liquids, it also transfers 200 or 2000 RF per tick, excuse me. The way you craft those is this is the easier way to craft it in my opinion is three hardened fluid ducts, signalum ingots, and electrum ingots, and the signalum is made with an alloy smelter with three copper, a silver, and ten redstone. 
and the Electrum is made with gold and silver. And the way you make the opaque one is just by having the hardened Fluidux with the same Signalum and Electrum. Our next pipe is going to be the Super Laminear Fluidux. These are a lot better than those if you don't want to be transferring RF and you just want to transfer your fluids. They transfer at a limitless rate when pressurized. Act just like a normal pipe when not pressurized. But limitless rate, meaning they can just, you can fly liquid all over the place. These are made with hardened glass, bronze ingots, and hardened fluidux. Opaque, that's the opaque version. As we noticed there, it still only makes one. And if we come over here, the difference between that and these are you just replace the opaque ones with the normal ones, and that still makes you one of those. Off to our next one. Now we have the flux ducts. There are five different flux, flux ducts, each going up, but also costing more the further up we go. Leadstone flux ducts transfer 200 RF per tick, and this is an amount per connection, so each one of these can only transfer 200 RF per tick. Each one of the leadstone flux ducts. Now the way you make these is with redstone, lead, and glass. And this makes six per. So if we were to grab a bunch and throw them all over the place, they just look like that when put down. Pick those back up. The hardened flux ducts grant a positive 600 RF per tick, meaning that these can transfer 800 RF, and that is also still per connection, so each one of those. And the way you craft this one is with Invar, your earlier leadstone flux ducts, and redstone. This is if you want to make three at a time, and if you want to make one at a time, you just replace the Invar with nuggets, one thing of redstone, and leadstone flux ducts. Our next pipe here is the redstone flux duct, and it can transfer an amazing 8,000 RF per tick. So these are very good pipes to go with if you have the resources, and if this is your only pipe-wise in the game, I would go with these until you need the next pipe up. The way you make these are two electrum and a hardened glass and that nets you six of these per, just like so. So you'll notice it said crafting item. When we pick on crafting item here, it actually makes the redstone flux ducts that are down that way. Resonant flux duct. These are the insane, like before cryo stabilized, go with these as well. Resonant flux ducts transfer an amazing 32,000 RF per tick. And they are made with a Enderium ingot and three leadstone energy flux ducts, which are those right there. Or you can have one energy flux duct, one redstone, and three Enderium nuggets to make one at a time. So that's cool. You can also put resonant flux ducts empty with the stabilized redstone. This is how you make the flux duct itself. So this gives you flux ducts, but if you somehow got those, you can make this, this stabilized redstone, which is 
just redstone and a magma crucible. And that'll be covered in a later tutorial. Cryo stabilized flux ducts. So if you can make these, these are very, very in-game items. I can't stress how in-game enough they are just because they transfer an infinite amount. So if you for some reason have over a 32,000 RF per tick, which is very likely because of the big reactors that are inside our FTB Infinity Evolved, go with these. They transfer infinite amounts. They're pretty cool looking and they are made with cryostabilized flux ducts emptied, which are made with redstone energy flux ducts. So you need the energy flux ducts to even make these with hardened glass or fused glass or quartz glass and electrum. And that makes you one empty flux ducts, which you throw in a fluid transposer with gelid cryothium to make the cryostabilized flux duct. Off to our next and last but not least item ducts. These are very good item transportation pipes ranging in how quickly they can do. This is going from right to left. So our first item duct pipe is going to be your normal item duct. It transfers items at a normal rate goes kind of slow in my opinion. If you have any other type of pipe, go with those instead, If it, other than buildcraft pipe. Do not use the buildcraft pipe if these are installed in your mod pack. And the way you make those is just tin and lead for the opaque version and tin and hardened glass for the item duct itself. Our next one is dense item ducts. So down here it says they increase the path link dramatically, dramatically. And these, so these are like the normal cobblestone stone pipes from Buildcraft, if you want to make a reference there. These are, just make those go longer so over time, your items are going to start slowing down, and they'll just stop. The dense item ducts make that so that doesn't happen at a longer rate. And to make that, you just put an item duct with pulverized lead, and that gives you a dense item duct. And the item duct opaque with pulverized lead gives you a dense item duct opaque version. Our next one is the vacuum item duct. It decreases path link dramatically. But because it's a vacuum, you can chuck things into it. So if we were to grab this and it was connected and I didn't have the awakened draconium item dislocator on, that should if it was connected to redstone, have taken that. But the way you make those is a item duct and pulverized silver, and that gives you a vacuum item duct, with the opaque version being silver as well. Now that should, be, I believe this one should be lead actually. Let's go double check this recipe. So lead is dense, silver is the vacuum. So the impulse, impulse, warp, and fluctuating all have these different types of pipes. And they are just like those down there, except they do a lot more. The impulse ducts, are glowstone filled, so they make items travel faster in a very little amount of time. And they look pretty cool in my opinion. All those look pretty nifty. The way you craft that 
is a item duct in a fluid transposer with energized glowstone and that gives you an impulse item duct and then to make the opaque version you combine six impulse item ducts with a lead ingot and that gives you an impulse item duct opaque the next pipe we're going to be looking at is a warp item duct and these are just like looking like the resonant ones over that way but what they do is they transfer items and if you use RF on this pipe so you'll notice in Wayla it says 0 out of 1600 RF you can use redstone flux on these pipes and it will transfer the items instantly from one destination to another now the way you make these is kind of in a crazy order but all six of these are made with one so six item ducts and an enderium ingot get you warped item ducts a warped item duct and pulverized lead will give you a dense warped item duct a warped item duct pulverized silver will get you a vacuum item duct and then to make the warped item duct opaque these need to be opaque item ducts with an enderium ingot and you'll get an opaque warped item duct and then the same applies with the dents and the vacuum being silver and lead but those look pretty neat they have the same characteristics on opaque as they do with the normal this one is pretty cool so instead of using RF to transfer the items instantly with the fluctuating item ducts you can transport our items and RF at 2000 RF a tick with any of those and the way you make those is a item duct with destabilized redstone in a fluid transposer will give you a fluctuating item duct a fluctuating item duct with pulverized lead will give you a dense fluctuating pulverized item duct fluctuating item duct excuse me a fluctuating item duct pulverized silver will give you a vacuum fluctuating item duct a fluctuating item duct opaque with pulverized silver and pulverized lead being the item duct here lead still gives you the dense one and silver gives you the vacuum one and the way you make the opaque one is an item duct opaque with the stabilized redstone and that gives you the fluctuating one and those all look like that thank you guys for watching these viaducts are sort of crazy you need any type of viaduct a long range linking viaduct the long range viaducts are actually easier to craft than the short ranged ones but the only way I got this to work is with this crescent hammer and you right click the crescent hammer to open up a pathway on this and then you right click on that pathway and you can set the transport so you'll notice here that this one has a destination if we fly all the way back down here and look in this one you'll notice that this one is the pipe clear down there they have to be that one has to see that one on the other end in order for it to work properly thank you guys for watching if you learned anything let me know in the comment section below if you liked the video let me know and I hope you have fun using thermal expansion pipes in your FTB Infinity Evolved